I'm Dawn aka Dawn Butterfly 10. As you know, I have been trying to set myself goals this year. Goals that I'm going to stick to. And I think this week I issued goals of doing my garden, which is not going to happen at the moment because the weather is pretty damn awful. Um, and the other one was the unit. Now I couldn't go up to the unit this week, so my fellow Dave, as you may have seen already, took the camera and he is filming the unit for you guys. So you've got to meet my fella Dave. Um, so yeah, he's going to be doing the filming for that now. He's got the job. So yeah, that's his thing now. Um, so I don't know if I said about this, I'm not sure, but this is the goal that today is Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Um, but my goal today is to sort out our spare bedroom. Now, it's usually pretty darn tidy. But the last two weeks, it's just been... Because we've been getting a lot of stuff in, everything's just got dumped in there. And I can't even get in there to get my eBay stuff out. So I desperately need to do it now. So I'm going to show you guys and film a little bit of just what it looks like at the moment. And then I shall film it throughout the day um, at the moment it's just gone 10 o'clock so it's not a big big room but it's got a lot in that room here so yeah so stay tuned fingers crossed it'll go well this is my spare bedroom so you walk in and this side is my this side here is my eBay side and these are all my boxes but at the moment I can't get into there because if you look around here, we have stuff here, we have stuff here, I've got a rail there and for some reason all this stuff fell down as well so I've got to move all that. We've got a shelving unit up there that also needs to be sorted out. Um, all this here, as you can see where my finger is, this is all army gear so I'm hoping to get them all out of that bag and as you can see there's a big box there so I'm hoping to put that into that big box there which will free up that area I've got stuff on the shelving unit that needs to be gone like this stuff on there that can go that'll go up the unit and then I've got stuff here as well there's my seat that I eat. oh where is it you can't even see it but there is a seat in there this isn't usually this bad but it's got quite bad this week um, I'm going to take stuff out and picture it before while I've got it out as well so fingers crossed it'll get done so I'm a girl on the mission that is for sure so oh yeah you can't really see but there's more on there as well and um, it just basically needs to be resorted anything that don't need to be here is going and then anything that is got to be here is going to be put somewhere better and plus I need to make some room for my son because he's now eBay and so he needs I'll probably give him somewhere over here somewhere some a, a shelf for him because he's starting to get a little bit of stuff as well so he's also got to have some stuff as well so I'm gonna drop off and see what happens see i now can get in the room da -da -da. i've started putting those army gear stuff in this box slowly getting this down now there's my chair you, you can see it's like ridiculous in here now and um, that's my bathroom suite that eventually will be going into the bathroom when we get around to it um this is my eBay section you can see I'm quite organized with I put labels on everything and whatnot there is labels on stuff but some of it's had to be moved around the side still got all this to sort out all that to sort out there's stuff at the bottom there I think that's my son so hopefully when I get around to doing that bit there that'll be nice and tidy then this is days fishing stuff so that's got to stay here anyway but as you can see there, this thing here, that's got to go. I think there's another one in the bottom of that shelf in there as well. Slowly getting there. 
always takes time. Um, might see if I can fit them in my airing cover. Actually, that blanket at the top is for my dog, so I might put that on their bed later. I've got a blow-up mattress that my son so doesn't want. I've got another one up there. So there's stuff out that's in here that needs to go anyway. There's an old, uh, an old fan there. No back. That's gonna go. I don't want that. A ball. Why right, there's a random ball at the top there. I do not know. Just up there somewhere. This is all consoles and that again. That's techie stuff. So that goes to our son. There's some more stuff there. I think Dave wants something pulled out of there. So I'm gonna pull that out for him in a minute. Hopefully. So yeah, as you can see, slowly getting there. Just one of them things, it sort of it gets onto you that all this <laughs> this is my um freebie haul bag. So I have my my February freebie haul. So I just have a little bag on the back of there and I fill it up with all the freebie stuff. It doesn't get touched until I do my fruit wheat haul as well. My iron in, that's my iron in there. So I need to get that done today perhaps. So yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Let's see how we get on next. So it's now gone past, I think it's half past one now. And I just had my lunch so I thought I'll come back and just record this because I managed to move some stuff out of the way so I can get in my bedroom. So as you can see, the shelf here has been sorted. We have uh, the army box up there. I couldn't get all the army stuff in that box, so I'll have to put it somewhere else. We've got Dave's netting, because he does ferritin, but I think he's getting rid of that now. Then he's got a fishing area, and at the bottom is his stuff down there, which is um, vintage plain stuff in it. Um, this is all electrical stuff that I need to sort out in a minute. Um, there's going to be a few more things stacked on top. Because as I said, this is my bathroom suite. Um, we've got the fishing rods here. And then I've just tidied this area up. As you can see, you can skip behind the door now. I've got some bits on the wall. Um, this side is literally not been done yet. So I've still got all this to do yet. Um, I've also going to have to make Joe a shelf over here somewhere because I, as you could see I couldn't fit him over there so somewhere here I've got to fit him in but the trouble is I mean I might get rid of some stuff over there I don't know yet but still lots here but I am getting there I mean you can see out there there's a lot of boxes still up there um, I'm hoping well, I am going to do it actually. Um, I'm going to set up um, a video player and a screen here, and then we can just use an extension lead out there to test drive all the videos that we get because it's a nightmare to keep pulling the video player and the TV in and out, in and out. So, we're going to have a set up here, and of course, I've got my chair so you can sit in here and just watch it. Blah de blah. So, that's going to go there. Um, I think these boxes here will probably be stacked behind me where all the other stuff is. Um, I was hoping to get three layers, but like I said, I've got Dave's fishing stuff here and that's what's taking the room up in here. But um, I will sort it. There's a lot of little little boxes and whatnot, so I might go for it if I, if I need it. I keep it if I don't just bug them basically because I need to make space I need to get on and the good news is I've got two chinchings today so I've got to find them items yet which I think I know where one of them is not sure where the second one is well the second one's going with my home so I've got to sort that out in a minute but I can do that later on so yeah we're getting there really please I've got some stuff that's got to go to, we have a friend who collects all the metal and that, so that can go to him. Um, I've got empty boxes, but I keep some up here. Um, I've got a foot, <laughs> foot massager, I don't know if I'm keeping that. I might just get rid of that, I'm not sure. Um, it's like stuff to go in the unit. More electrical stuff, which has got to be sorted out. 
so yeah you can see generally I'm getting there now um, I could have to put my picture back up as well that fell off when I pushed them on that's all fallen off so that needs to go back up on there um, the notes boards they stay there anyway um, the top one is more for me eBay and thing but the bottom one is my as you can see it's got all different trips there and they're all the trips that I've done last year I thought it'd be great to have a memory board so this year it's starting to fill up with this year's trips and traveling and all that so as you can see there's my tickets from wrestling when we went to wrestling the other week um, and then my York one will go on there as well so I am getting there it's slow but steady as they say we're in the waist so hopefully when I do the next video it could possibly be done she says but yeah my room at the moment my bedroom is full of stuff so somehow I've got to get that in here but a lot of it's got to go in these box in them boxes anyway so and a lot of it's in bags etc so yeah so see you in a minute now I am nearly nearly finished and I am so pleased with what I have done today it's literally coming up to five o'clock at the moment I've still got quite a fair bit to put back in here but most of it's just got to go back in boxes and that so as you can see sorry about the cup of tea but my fella bought me a cup of tea here is the um, area that we was going to have for the video so we, we can check to make sure the videos work um, and then we'll run the extension lead out to the one outside because my other one, the plugs for that is buried. Um, and then you've got my stationery stuff here and Dave's books for his self-employment there. Um, down here is, there's, I've started separating boxes of Lego. Then I've got like little cups and ornamental stuff there. Again, this is all general general stuff as you can see I like to label the stuff as well what's in them um, not all of it's been labeled because I, I know what's in there and then over here is my board games pile of board games which I haven't I've still got to go through but like this one's brand new and sealed so is that one brand new and sealed but I think I might I don't know about them yet because like I don't think they make that much money on eBay um, again that that's got to be checked that one again doesn't really there's not many on ebay same for that there's too many on ebay on that one so i'm not sure about that yeah over here we've got like my laminator um my jiffy bags and then other crap these i just have not got the heart to give away because these are my were my sons well these two you can see how well loved this one is this was his baby and he had this like oh, I can't remember like if he was two or something and then we got a little friend that went with it not as much loved but this one was well loved and carried it everywhere I've got pictures of him with it this one was my mother-in-law's and when she passed away he was like I think he was like 11 or oh, it needs to be a bit of a clean bless it I think he was like 11 or something when he part, um, she passed away, it was one of the things he wanted to keep. So, and I don't want to throw that away. So, just got a few little cuddly toys there. Um, these two rows here are for Joe's eBay. As I've stated, he's now going to be doing eBay. Um, I've just put a few bits in that he already had. He's got some in his bedroom, so I've got to sort that out for him. Down there again, that's for his shelf as well, because them things are his. Then I've got my chair, finally got my chair out and I thought I'd just put little Winnie the Pooh so I've got a bit of Disney in here because I haven't got much Disney. Oh yes I have, I've got a little ticker in my pen pot. Um, dryer again, these um, these were buried, these were Dave's father-in-law's and Dave's father-in-law's, my father-in-law, Dave's dad and when he passed away it was one of the things we wanted to keep because um we bought these for him and they both have special meaning i.e he loved gorillas we bought that for him and plus he was from ireland he came over here when he was a young little lad um, i think he was 15 something like that and uh so he basically this pure irish man loved him to bits miss him every day but 
I'm glad I found them. I just showed that to say, look, I've got these on here. So he was really pleased they're out again. Um, dryer, because I dry the clothes sometimes in it. Then this is the section. Um, this is mainly Dave's section here. So we've got army stuff up there. Couldn't get it all in there. There's some LPs up there as well. Um, his fishing net. Then we've got his long nets, which again, I think he's going to be selling them because he doesn't really do that where we... Due to ill health, we've had to just make big decisions this year and we just can't do it no more. Um, his waterproof things for fishing. Then this one is his fishing one. Again, um, there's a lot there, so I presume we will try and clear out a little bit and then try and sort out. And then there's his antique sort of stuff, play things. As you can hear in the background, he's got something that he's testing out at the moment. Then these are my boxes. Now, I'm probably going to get some more boxes, actually, because um, I can always put another section on the other side. I like to label them as well. Um, these two ain't labelled. don't know why. I'll have to have a look. I think because they're a mixture of what's on eBay and what's not on eBay. That might be why. Um, so we've got toys in there. Also, these are all the things that are on eBay at the moment. So toys, eBay items, incomplete toy bundles that I save up. Down at the bottom is toys, mainly plushes in that one. Then we've got a book collection. Now I'm going to change that into a different, into one of these because, as you can see, it's sticking out a bit and I'm really frightened someone's going to trip over it. Dresses, tops and shirts. This is getting empty now, so I have got a load of clothes to start sorting out in the bedroom, so I'm going to put them in. And then you've got summer clothes. Um, so, yeah... This over here is the electrical area. And then you've got my bathroom suite in the background, days fish and stuff. That I think I bought this the um from a jumble sale, but it looks like it's got fake tan on it on the label, so I'm not sure about that. I might just take that to a textile bank, I'm not sure. And then you've got my rail, um I've tidied all this up, got my iron in there, which I'm gonna try and do tomorrow. Up there, that's all been tidied. I've got empty boxes. I thought I'd better keep some up here, even though Dave's got loads downstairs. Ouch. My hoover just fell down on me. And then that's car boot stuff, empty bags, and my hoover. Then you've got my notes boards, and then back to this area. So I'm really, really am so pleased that I've got this done because. It has been such a pain in my rear end having to get in and out. And before, the, all these boxes, as you would have seen, were all on here. So it was always hard to get into this bit. Now I've moved them over there. Everything's been put up nicely. I can actually just come in, see what I want, grab the box, done. Um, it'd be a nice little area to sit down as well. And of course, do now videos. That's been much handier now so much handier and like i said i've still got a few more bits to come in i've got this out there if you can just see that's all got to go up our unit so fingers crossed we'll get that done i might just push it in here for tonight because literally it's what gone five o'clock at the moment and i am getting tired my back is hurting as well and um, i'm going to try and because my son's got some of his stuff in his bedroom and I've got some stuff of his downstairs. So I'm going to try and get that in there either today or tomorrow. So I mean, he's gone out at the moment so he doesn't know he's got this. So hopefully it'll be a little happy bumblebee. But yeah, again, I'm really, really happy. Um, I hope you guys think it's a good job. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to see more, please do. And um, yeah. If you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, it's Dawn Butterfly 10. And if you want to follow Dave, who now is going into some of my videos, he is DDJ Sales. And you can find him on Instagram too. So I'm going to go and try and finish. Um, I've still got quite a fair bit to come in. So yeah, I'm really pleased. I shall do probably a last picture and might try and put that on the end of this video now that I'm learning how to do the editing on my phone. So thanks for watching guys. Bye.